confusion between Monet and Manet. In this episode, we're gonna look at these two friends and peers and hopefully get a little bit better idea of how, uh, how they made their work. The first artist is Edward Manet. Manet was the older of the two and is oftentimes thought of as an Impressionist, but he wasn't. He was actually a Romantic style artist. The second artist is Claude Monet. There's also Monet, and Monet was an Impressionist and a co-founder of the Impressionist style. Now there's a bit of a trick to remembering Monet and Manet because uh, they can be confusing. If you remember that A comes before O, Manet, then Monet, you'll remember that Manet is a Romantic, Monet is an Impressionist. It's also easy to, to remember if uh, you, you consider Manet A, impre uh, Romantic A, I don't know, it seems to work for some. It's one of those tricks that sometimes works, sometimes doesn't. Well, at least the logic makes sense in my own mind, so whatever. To get a little bit better idea of who these guys were, we're going to examine one of their artworks and hopefully be able to put that together with a couple other tidbits and facts and get a little bit better understanding between Monet and Manet. One of Manet's most important uh, artworks was Luncheon on the Grass, made in 1863. Manet's. This is an illustration that shows two of the most important and most influential pastimes of Parisian culture in the 18, middle 1800s. Number one, you got picnics. Picnics were huge. And number two, you got prostitution at picnics, which was also a lovely treat, I suppose. Showing this prostitution picnic thing was altogether unacceptable. I mean, people didn't want to see that. And not only that, but it also had nudity in it. Nudity was a big deal at that time. Uh, the only time that anyone was ever allowed to show nudity was, one, if you're using a, a god or a goddess, or number two, some other sort of... Um, mythology or some sort of uh, parallel. You couldn't just ever be nude for the sake of being nude. It was just unheard of. It was unclean. It was indecent. The basic point is it wasn't classically nude and it was therefore vulgar. Color is a matter of taste and sensibility. Above all, you must have something to say. Otherwise, forget it. Now this artwork was intended for the official salon in Paris and it was rejected. For whatever reason, unbeknownst to me, Napoleon III decided that he was going to allow for another art show altogether to be allowed at that time. This art show would become the, known as the Salon des Refuse, or the Refused Salon. And uh, this is a uh, the, the pivotal point in which the Impressionists start to evolve. As I said, Manet was not an Impressionist, but he did show his artwork with the Impressionists. After all, these guys were friends. I've started lots of things that I probably won't be able to finish. One of Monet's most famous works was Impression Sunrise. There's this art critic whose name is Louis Leroy. He made a really uh, critical, overly critical observation of this painting. He said, uh, it's unheard of, dreadful. It's going to give me a stroke. Because of that criticism um, made by Louis Leroy, uh, the Impressionists uh, took this, this insult, um, this insult uh, put on by Louis Leroy, this idea that, that he said uh, that you know, this is not a painting, it's an impression of a painting. It's not a sunrise, it's an impression of a sunrise. Just like um, Monet is not an artist, he is doing an impression of an artist. Um, taking that insult, taking that jab, and flipping it into a positive uh, was huge for the Impressionists. They were able to uh, really get a lot of notoriety and popularity um, by, by taking this, this huge disgraceful comment flipping it into a badge of honor and saying, you know what, we are Impressionists. You're going to find artwork that you're not going to find anywhere else because we're going to show you the impression of the world uh, seen through our eyes. Monet was very well known for his paintings of water. He made a, 
floating studio that he, it was a boat, and he would float out into the water and paint his canvases right there on the water. He was very great at, at painting water, and he was very well known for painting water and the lily pads and all that. Uh, Manet himself even said, speaking of Monet, uh, he, he said, uh, Monet is the Raphael of water. Another real interesting fact about this particular painting is that a lot of people see Impression Sunrise as this great French painting, you know, what, what French landscape painting was to the Impressionists. And in fact, it wasn't even painted in France, it was painted in London. So I guess it's a really great example of English landscape painting. These landscapes of water and reflection have become an obsession. A lot of people also think of Monet as the, the leader of the Impressionists, when in fact, I would, I would not agree with that statement. I would say that the leader of the Impressionists is uh, Pizarro, and uh, we'll probably talk about him in a video here in the future, but he's one of the most underrated of all of the, uh, the Impressionists, and a lot of the Impressionists look to him for guidance. They don't look to Monet or Manet or or any of these other folks for guidance. They look to Bizarro for, for leadership. I tell myself that anyone who claims he's finished a painting is terribly ignorant. To finish something means to complete, and I am forcing myself to work, but can't make any progress. And again, in the future we will investigate them a little bit more fully. I hope this helps you to see the difference between Monet and Manet. This is a subject that I know we will revisit in the future. Thanks for watching Art 101. I want to send a special thank you out there to Da Critikist for making the intro uh, to Art 101 with Mike Berger. I want to thank all of you for watching this video. Uh, feel free to comment below or um, check out the links off to the side. Um, we'll see you next time. That's good.